Our fall preparation begins and we're starting right now. What's up everyone? I'm sure you've guessed by my intro and my title what this video is going to be about. And yes, you're right. It's starting to feel like fall and that can only mean one thing. Football Sundays are back. Okay, well it can mean two things. Yes, football is back, but more importantly, it's time for our fall program. Now I know, some of you might be asking, Lawn Daddy, what the heck are you talking about fall program? Well, as I mentioned in a previous video, I'm going to help you prepare your lawn for fall. Now, if this is your first time here and you want to have a nice lawn like mine or learn any other lawn care related stuff, Start by subscribing and click the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so with my fall program, I'm going to break it down to you in four easy steps. We're going to talk about mowing and dethatching. We're going to talk about core aeration. We're going to be talking about overseeding and fertilizing. And last, we're going to be talking about watering your lawn. So let's talk about mowing. So at this time of the year, I like to sit there and bring my lawn down to about two and a half inches. That'll help with the dethatching process and with the core aeration process. So before we move on, I wanted to talk a little bit about core aeration. Now this year I chose not to do it. Um, I did it in the spring and I did it last fall. Now for those of you who don't know, core aeration is simply poking a bunch of holes in your lawn. Now what this does is helps your lawn to breathe and it helps to relieve compaction. Now you can rent an aerator out from Home Depot, Lowe's, um, they're pretty cheap. Uh, what I do is I hire it out, there's a guy right in my town, he comes out, he rolls the lawn and he aerates it all in the same step. Alright, so let's move on to our next step which is dethatching. So you might be asking yourself, what is thatch? Well, let me show you. So thatch is a buildup of dead grass and material that sits on your soil. Now. Before you worry, everybody has a thatch layer. Every time you mulch, the clippings sit on the soil and the nutrients get absorbed back into the soil. And then that material dies. That's my son. Don't want to have too thick of a thatch layer, so that leads us into our next step, dethatching. That's my son Tanner. So this here is called a dethatching rig. So if you haven't seen one before, it's got a very unique design to it. So this side here, the tines are straight. And this side here, they've got a curve to them. So to adjust this rake here, you take these wing nuts on the side and loosen them off. Okay, now you can move this up or down. Now, if you have it all the way down, what that does is it's less aggressive on the lawn. So you can just kind of skim the surface, where if you have this all the way up, you can see the tines are really digging into the, the grass. Just want to go back and forth. Okay. Okay, you can already see how much it's pulling up. So then guys pull towards you and then back to pull the thatch off the rake. All right, guys, let's go start dethatching the front lawn. All right, let's play a little game, shall we? Maybe this will help. All right, let's see how many it takes.
All right, guys, so due to some technical difficulties, uh, my dirt is already spread and I wasn't able to film it. So let me show you what I did. So flip your rake upside down. You want to push all the dirt and spread it around as best you can. And then for fine tuning, you just gently go back and forth. Okay, just like that. And then you just step back and you look at where you want to fill in the gaps and you fine tune. All right, so now that our dirt's down and our dethatching's done, I'm going to give the lot a quick mow before we start throwing down some seed. But first, you can see I'm representing my bills with the hat and the shirt, and that can only mean one thing. Football Sunday is finally back. We waited all year for this, and yesterday my bills came from behind to beat those dirty Jets. So today, we're going to call this Victory Mow Monday. It's dedicated to all you Jets fans. Alright, now that that fun is done, it's time to get serious. Now it's time to throw down our grass seed and our fertilizer, but first, let me show you what type of grass seed I'm going to use. Now, I've already done the backyard. I used a sun and shade mix because it's 70% shade back there, but it is times in the day where it's a lot of sun. Now in the front yard, it's mainly all sun, so let me show you what we're going to use. All right, so the grass seed we're gonna to use today, it's just a typical store-bought uh, grass seed. Um, it's got everything broken down here. So it's 35% Kentucky bluegrass, it's 35% uh, red fescue, and it's 30% uh, perennial rye. Um, I know some grass, it'll say that there's no weeds or 99% weed-free. Uh, in my experience, I found that is to be false, um, unless you go to these super grass seed stores um, like some of the big YouTube guys use. So typically it doesn't matter what you use, you are gonna have some uh, weeds come up, but that's why you use your weed sprays and uh, pre-emergence to, to get rid of that stuff. So let's get this in the spreader and we'll start throwing down some grass seed. All right, so before I get started here, I just wanted to mention, you wanna start by walking the perimeter of your lawn. And to prevent your grass from going into the driveway or your pesky neighbor's lawn, you wanna turn on the edge guard. Now on my spreader, it's located underneath, it's bright orange and you can't miss it. Uh, once the perimeter walk is done, you wanna turn the edge guard off and you wanna uh, walk up and down your lawn and making sure that you just overlap where you previously walked. All right, let's get started. Walking alone, the streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger, step by step The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town Starter fertilizer time.
Go. For big bear spot, big bear spots like the one behind me, you're gonna want to spread peat moss. So the reason why you want to spread out peat moss is a, it'll keep out the birds, and b, it'll hold in the moisture when you water, and that'll help the seed germinate faster. Now, before I go, I want to reiterate that your fall prep program is not done. Now, you might be saying to yourself, I did all the steps in the Hold on, Daddy. Fall prep program. The reason you're not done is because for the next few weeks, you're going to need to water and keep that seed wet. Or dare I say, moist. Well guys, there you have it. There's my fall preparation program for a greener, healthier lawn. The success of my fall program depends on keeping your grass watered. Even if you only water for a half an hour each day, it's better than not watering at all. Now, if you're new to YouTube or this is the first year you're following a fall program, check out my videos here where I show you what happens to your lawn when you don't water and I show you how to build your own above ground sprinkler system to help dominate your neighbor's lawns. And if you want to have a nice lawn like mine or learn any lawn care related stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy this fall weather and enjoy your day in the lawn.